ancient tools for creating art. And we're going to be using them today to paint these beautiful sea creatures. Hello, Joe from Montmartre here again. The paints we'll be using for our finger painting um, is the Montmartre Silver Series 100ml acrylics. Now the colours that you'll be needing for this first one is white, burnt umber, ultramarine, viridian and gold. You'll also need um, a tear off uh, palette. Now these are fantastic, just like the name implies. As soon as you've filled one with paint, rip it off, throw it in the bin and you've got another one. So it's a very affordable way, you don't have to keep buying palettes. And of course you'll need a couple of hands. First we're going to do our blue ringed octopus. So squeeze out your viridian. And just rub it all around the canvas. So just create a circular pattern and then leave it to dry. Alright, on with the gold. So just throw away your old palette and on with the gold. Block in the basic shapes of the octopus, just think oval. Paint its eyes in on top of the head and the eight tentacles. Apply the paint thickly to get a good coverage. Now let's put out some burnt umber and some white. So we're going to put a little bit of white at the bottom of the octopus's head there and just a little bit on the tentacles as well. I'm going to put a little bit of burnt umber on now. And the paint's all still nice and wet because it's been put on so thickly so it blends quite nicely. Now to put our blue ringed octopus spots on. And I'm just dotting my finger in the blue, ultramarine, and just transferring the paint. Put your spots wherever you feel. Now we just need to go over our spots with a bit of gold. Same again, but you want to just put the gold in the middle of the spot there. Well, that looks great. Let's do a jellyfish now. For our jellyfish, new canvas, and we, you'll need some ultramarine, some cobalt blue, some purple, some yellow orange, and some lemon yellow in the silver series again. So let's get these out on the palette. So I'm going to put cobalt in the middle, ultramarine around the outside, and then I'm going to blend them all together. Alright, let's paint our jellyfish. So we're going to do orange first, because that's our background. Do yellow. and a little bit of purple. All right, let's put our background color on first. And I'm just starting with my jellyfish shape. And now for the tentacles. You can certainly see how vibrant the colors are in the 100 milliliter range. So I'm just making a bit of a brown here with the orange and the purple. And we're just going to put a shadow on our tentacles. Now for a little bit of blue yellow. And on with a little bit of purple. Now we're just going to put our little tentacles in here with black and orange. 
So you will need a brush for this and I'm using a number four round. Okay, that's our jellyfish. Now on to our lobster. And finally, for the colours of the lobster, we will be using cerulean blue, pathalo, yellow ochre, gold, scarlet, titanium white, and black. Apply gold to the middle and ochre around the outside. Then simply blend the two together. All right, because this one's a little bit more complicated, I'm just going to quickly rough it in first. I'm using cerulean as the main colour of the lobster. Break it up into elements to make it easier. To add shape to our lobster, use ultramarine for the shadows and white for the highlights. Add some red here and there. It goes perfectly with blue. Just going to use the brush now. Um, just to neaten th things up and put, it, put some shadows in and again I'm going to be very smooth flowing with this. This will help to define the shape. Just going to do his antenna now. And now a bit more red. some spots in my trusty favourite old way of just transferring them on the end of your paintbrush. So just remember, finger painting with acrylics is for all ages. Until next time, Keep on painting.